What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. We've had the Galaxy S23 Ultra monster massive mega update for June 2023 for a few days. And if you've been using it, you may have noticed some slowdowns, some battery life issues potentially. Sometimes that can happen when you get a big update and it's not necessarily the fault of the update. Sometimes you just need to take a couple steps to make sure your phone is optimized after such a large update. Today I'm gonna to show you guys steps you can take to improve your experience after a large update. A couple of things that you can do and we're gonna get into that soon. Before we do, I wanna thank my son Jonathan for giving me this Triceratops to hang out with us. He always gives us a little dinosaur here on the side. And then I also wanna tell you guys about a new sponsor on the channel and that is Southern New Hampshire University. I know a lot of you guys are gamers. You like to play games on your Samsung phone. And if you're interested in perhaps having a career in creating games, SNHU is an amazing opportunity. Um, their snhu.edu game development BS degree teaches you how to create realistic dynamic gameplay experiences with game AI, game physics, 2D and 3D graphics, and interface design. You'll also learn programming languages like C++, C Sharp, and Java, and you'll learn 3D modeling and texturing with game art software. You'll get to research, develop, and contribute to advances and trends within the field of game programming. Courses are taught by faculty with real-world experience, and SNHU is radically affordable. Their online tuition rates are some of the lowest in the nation. If you go to my link, snhu.edu slash Springer, you'll find this landing page right here. You can sign up for more information on the game programming and development degree. You guys can see some of the information right here. Once you request the information, a real person will hop on a call and discuss how the program can best benefit you. Again, go to snhu.edu slash Springer. It only takes one click to find your calling, and we do appreciate SNHU for being sponsors of this video. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Uh, first of all, if you haven't gotten the update yet, you should have. Most regions have received it. Of course, I'm talking about this update, the June update, which is over 2.2 gigs on the unlocked US model. It's actually over 2.4 gigs on some of the carrier models here in the US. Um, but it's a very large update, has a lot of features in it. I've made a couple videos on it so far in terms of the features. I'll drop those below if you're interested. I'm gonna be making some more, lots of camera improvements, definitely a lot of fluidity improvements in terms of animations. It's really noticeable on day to day. But some people have complained of battery life and some general lag or jank in particular apps. And one thing you can do to fix that is to clear the cache partition and repair apps by going into the recovery menu on your Samsung device. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do both of those things. They're both in the same general menu, but you do have to do them separately. So the first thing you wanna do is power off your device by doing, of course, either if you have the power menu mapped to the side key, you can just long press and then power off. If you don't, you can do the side key plus the volume down. Go ahead and power this off and wait till it's fully powered off. Once the device is fully powered off, what you're gonna do is take the side key and the volume up like this. It's just easier for me to do it holding it this way. And you're gonna hold down the volume up and side key at the same time until eventually you will see the recovery menu. So there's the recovery menu right here. And uh, let me hold this up so you guys can get a better look at it. You can see you've got several options here. Reboot system now, you've got reboot to bootloader. There's a bunch of stuff here that we don't need. The one that we need, we're gonna actually go down here and find it. The first one I'm going to do is wipe cache partition. You can see wipe cache partition is right there. It's uh, kind of getting caught in the glare here of my lights, so I apologize for that. Wipe cache partition is one, two, three, four, five, six from the top there. And then once you get to wipe cache partition, just press the side key and uh, it will wipe the cache partition for you after you go down one with the volume down, click yes. This does not delete any of your data. It'll say cache wipe complete at the top. And then of course you could reboot your system now, but what we're gonna do is one extra step. We're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. So once again, using the volume down, go all the way to the bottom where it says repair apps. So then you can hit the side key again, and then it will go ahead and start the process of repairing your apps. It's gonna reboot your phone and you're gonna see how repairing the apps. Now what this does is basically rebuild some of the directories when the apps in case things get moved around or jumbled up when you're doing an update, this basically makes things more organized within the APK structure, and it just makes your phone run in a more optimal way. In terms of basic everyday language, that's what it does. It does take some time, so um, you can see here that it goes a little slowly, particularly if you have a lot of apps. 
Now, one thing that I'll mention while this is rebooting is that if you are in that recovery menu, the one thing that you wanna make sure you don't do is uh, right next to the wipe cache partition is to completely erase all of your data, to do a hard factory data reset. Obviously, you don't wanna do that because you'll lose all your pictures, contacts, videos, everything you have on your device. The wipe cache partition does not delete any of that data. It just clears up the temporary files that are stored in the cache partition. So now if we go in here and we go there, you'll see right there as we go in, now we're back into the phone, everything has been updated. Um, and you'll also notice that it's gonna take a little second, just like once you take the software update for everything to kind of come back up. And if you have a secure folder, your secure folder will be locked like I have here, put in your pen or whatever to get that going. So you should be good to go if you have any issues. Once you do that, it should fix, hopefully solve any problems. I've personally had very little problem after the June update. Everything has been very smooth for me. I've only had this for a day now, so I can't really comment on battery life, but I feel like it's a little bit better. That's my gut feeling. Uh, I was getting probably like five hours screen on time with the previous update in May, uh, but I use Android Auto Wireless every day on my commute into work and home, which eats battery like crazy. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better than that, but after a week, I'll probably make a video on battery life in a definitive way because I don't like to say anything too soon. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, if you guys want to check out some awesome, awesome opportunities in the uh, snhu.edu BS in game programming and development, uh, you can go to snhu.edu slash Springer. It's also in the pinned comment description. Request more information and a real person will hop on a call. Talk about how this program can benefit you. We appreciate them for being sponsors of the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.